For instance, I do the, the roasts and the exposing stuff on my channel. Okay, why? Is it you guys think, oh, he's being a hater. He's doing it for marketing. He's doing it because he's jealous. No, no, no. Okay, it's because most of the industry is scamming you and ripping you off. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to talk about the stupid fucking concepts of simps, okay, which gets thrown around everywhere in the red pill community, providers, which gets thrown around in the pickup community, and the stupid notion of being unreactive, bro. Okay, a lot of the stupid concepts got pushed through by total scammers and idiots in the pickup world and in the red pill world. Okay, you have all these pseudo alphas that are running around, hey, I'm the ultimate alpha, I'm the I'm the most alpha guy in the world, bro. Everyone else is simp. This is simp behavior. That's simp behavior. This is simp everything's simp shit, right? And and then what you see symptomatic of that is you have guys coming on, you know, I'll do like an interview talking about how I banged over 1,300 girls. Oh, if you count your lays, you're a simp, bro. Okay. This guy probably hasn't even hit double digits yet. He's probably jerking off in his mom's basement. But I'm a simp, okay? Let's review the facts. I'm living on a tropical island, okay, with three super hot chicks, 15 girls on my own, one-on-one -on -one for rotation. Then I've got on-demand threesomes and foursomes in the house. And then I've got nine or 10 girls for threesome rotation with my main chick that comes on my channel, okay? Is that a simp banging 1,300 chicks all around the world? Fuck no, right? But they're going to call me a simp because I'm because why? Because I'm counting lays. Okay, all the best guys I know count their lays. And I'll go through more examples of this stupid type of shit. But before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. New videos every single day, all through 2021. Press the notification bell to be alerted to those new videos every single day. Also, if you want to get very, very, very good at the game very fast, jump on a free 30 minute call with me personally. I will show you a customized game plan on how I can get you very good, very fast. Okay, I'm going to pop up a screenshot really quick. I go through, it's an eight-week program. I, go, I have guys fill out a questionnaire at the end of week six. And this guy here is saying that he ended up, this is by the end of week six, he got eight girls in that first six weeks, uh, repeated all of them, meaning he banged all of them, you know, multiple instances across different days. And then he also was able to put five of them on rotation. Contrast that to his six months uh, before the program, contrast that, and he only got one lay. Okay, so one lay in six months versus eight lays in six weeks, and five of them on rotation. Okay, so do not delay. Jump on that free 30-minute call. I'll show you how I can get you very good. So let's jump into these other ones. Okay, so we, we talked about how it's stupid. People are calling guys simp. You, and by the way, and I can't stress this enough, it's pseudo-alpha characters that are throwing these fucking terms around. It's beta fucking loser guys that are like trying to challenge real alpha guys or just challenge anyone because they think they're so fucking cool, even though they're a huge loser, and just calling them a simp. Oh, this is a simp. This is a simp. For instance, I do the, the roasts and the exposing stuff on my channel. Okay, why? Is it guys think, oh, he's being a hater. He's doing it for marketing. He's doing it because he's jealous. No, no, no. Okay, it's because most of the industry is scamming you and ripping you off. For 10 years, I've had to talk to thousands of guys that have gotten fucking cleaned out financially, emotionally, etc. Guys that are incredibly depressed and dejected. Most of you guys watching this still don't have the problem solved. Why? Because you were following most of these fucking retards over the years. Okay, that's, the, that's cause number one. It's not just that you don't know how to do this stuff. It's that you have the whole industry against you. Okay, and I don't give a fuck. Who doesn't like that, that I speak out about that? I'm going to still keep putting out game value and all this stuff as well. But it's important to say a lot of these things, okay? Because a lot of these guys that you idolize and worship and you think are so good at game are huge fucking losers, okay? Uh, next, I made some notes here. Uh, all this stuff about being a provider, okay? <clears throat> I was running a boot camp in London about two years ago. And I, I trained guys up on my system very well. He, I had a student. He came in. I uh, was flirting with the girl, being physical, etc. Isolated her to the bar. He's seating the pullback to the house. I see him pointing at the exit. She's all receptive. And it seems super on. It seems like he's going to bang the chick. And then, you know, shit goes sour. And the chick ends up leaving. I'm like, yo, what the fuck happened there? He's like, oh, well, we ordered drinks. And I didn't want to be a provider. So I told her, like, 
she needs to pay for her own drink, right? And that's just going to piss girls off, right? You, you think you're like keeping, you know, keeping your manhood intact. That's just fucking dumb, okay? Or, or guys are like, I'm never going to take a girl to dinner because that's being a provider, okay? I instruct formally that your first date should be drinks or coffee. Your second date, I, what I like to do is take them out to dinner. I think it showcases a more serious and romantic side of yourself. I think it shows that you're willing to meet them out in public again and get to know them more over a formal fucking meal after you've already banged them on the first date, which you will 80 to 90% of the time when you're doing things properly. And it just builds a lot more rapport and connection. I'm holding the door for them. I'm holding their hand. Is that being a fucking beta simp provider? No. Like all these people that make these claims... Okay, look what I've accomplished in the game. Look what you've accomplished in the game. I'm setting the record straight here. It's okay to take girls out to dinner. It's okay to fucking buy girls drinks. Okay, it's okay to double and triple text. I double and triple text all the time. Why? Because I don't give a shit, right? I'm not doing it for my needy frame. If a girl is ignoring my texts, I'm going to follow up and I'm going I'm to crack down on that pretty quickly to get her back on board or cut her out. But you guys have these... These stupid principles, a lot of it, it's come from stupid idiots like Owen Cook, okay, like R.C. Tyler, where he says, and there's another fucking note I made, being unreactive, okay? R.C. Tyler is basically like advocating, I guess, like the Mahatma Gandhi model of like, you know, passive, <laughs> passive resistance or something. But basically, you see these guys in the forums when guys are like engaging in an argument like a man, okay? And you see these guys are just like, that when they get attacked, oh, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate the criticism, bro. Like, it's just all about, like, good vibes only, right? And I see some coaches now in the space that are like, hey, we can't take part in any of this attacking and, and all this stuff. The majority of the industry is fucking scamming people on purpose, okay? I'm gonna, of course, I'm going to say something about that. I'm not just going to be like, well, 95% of the industry is uh, purposely ripping guys off and misleading them and purposely confusing them and just trying to extract as much money as possible. And all these people are wasting time, effort, and money. But, you know, that good vibes only. I'm going to just keep my mouth shut. Okay, no. Okay, and I'm not looking for drama and looking for to stir the pot and all the stuff as a lot of people think. It's simply that a whole bunch of clowns and idiots have come in and disgraced the craft that I spent my life optimizing and I have a real system for, the best system for. Okay, that is why. That is the main reason, okay? And, and I, I just fucking hate these guys for how much they lie about what they're doing in the game and how, you know, they lie about the results. They hire girls for fake lifestyles. They fake infield footage, okay? They content farm out to India in extreme cases where the, where the systems that these guys are paying for have no bearing whatsoever on any kind of real strategy or real game. But let me tell you what a real man does, okay? What a real man, what a real alpha guy should do. Okay, if he wants to take a girl out to dinner to enjoy a fucking dinner, he's going to do it. Okay, that doesn't mean he's a pussy. That doesn't mean he's a provider. It's all it's all about the frame that it comes from. If he buys a girl a drink at the bar just because he's enjoying the time, okay, or as you should do it as a general rule, offer to pay for a girl's drink. If, you, if you're, you know, if you're up at the bar and you're courting a girl, you know, there's going to be a percentage of girls that are going to blow out if you don't offer to pay for their drink or if you don't offer to pay for your fucking first date out, okay, I advocate, I used to do that shit way back in the day, like, oh, let's always go 50-50, you're gonna lose a certain percentage, if you're finally losing a certain percentage to, like, maintain your manhood and not be a provider, just look at it this way, if you're inviting the girl out on a fucking date, right, or if you're bringing her to the bar, it's not that big of a leap to buy her a drink, okay, is it gonna break the bank, you know, $10 for a drink, is that gonna fucking, you know, put you in financial hardship, for some of you, it will, and that's another reason why you don't do it. If that's the case, then you have much more serious problems. Don't be a fucking broke piece of shit, okay? So uh, I'm, I'm kind of just jumping from topic to topic, but the, the, and these could have been separate videos, but I kind of want to wrap it all into one, okay? You, you see these guys, oh, like like literally, I've, I've shown the most proof by far and accomplished the most shit in the game out of any of these fucking dumb coaches, and guys are like, you're counting lays, you're a simp. You're buying dinner for a girl on a date. You're a provider. Okay, I can't double text. That's being too needy. Okay, as a rule, never double text. Okay, and as a rule, whenever a man confronts you, you should just take it lying down like a bitch because that's how you be unreactive. Okay, that, this is just bullshit 
like nonsense out of the mouth of RST Tyler, who's not fucking getting laid, who's not good at the game, who's not a fucking player. He's just a little nerdy, awkward cult, you know, <laughs> what other words can we use? Pathological liar, cult leader. That's just getting you guys to buy into these hard principles that are actually working against you. Okay. I can't count the number of times I see in the forums or hear from guys that they fucking like refused to pay for a girl's drink or coffee on the day and they it blew out the chick. Okay. Or like when guys are like engaging in arguments, like whenever I like fight back against like troll, I love engaging trolls and like people talking shit and so you can usually back up the points with good counter arguments and provide proof to disprove what they're saying is just totally false. Right. But then when I go and defend myself, guys, guys want to come in and say, Oh, that's you being reactive. Look how reactive you are. Look how triggered you are. It's like, I've seen this so many times, right? You have, you have like a little, like two or three lay count punk running his mouth, talking shit or whatever. And then this is, these aren't even all meant to be personal examples. I just see this kind of behavior everywhere. I'm just using my own personal uh, anecdotes here to make my points. But someone will come in and engage in, in, in fight back. Oh, look, man, look how triggered you are. Look how react. It, it's so dumb, right? It, my point here with all these examples is you have this category of men, okay, that are just adhering dogmatically to these dumb principles that were not set forth by any like real alpha guy, but any guy that's actually really crushing the game. And it, most of them are contradictory to real alpha behavior. But you have all these pseudo betas, pseudo betas, right, running around saying like, oh, to be alpha, you need to do this. And to be alpha, you need to be this. And I want to make a bunch more videos on red pill, but it's super fucking toxic and it's super fucking destructive. And I, since I've been attacking some of these red pill coaches, I'm getting on the phones with some of these guys. And it's the same story every time. In the pickup world, it was just a whole bunch of guys being purposely misled and confused and, and stagnating or going backwards in results. But with the red pill community... These guys are like, oh, I'm I'm getting resentful against women. Oh, like, you know, I'm starting to hate women. Like, and I, I never advocate stuff like that. And there's no reason to be resentful against women or hate women. And it, here's guys, that, and, and there's no strategy being delivered. It's just all these stupid bullshit red pill mantras. And these guys, and, it, and it's funny too, guys are saying hilarious shit to me. They're like, dude, that hour call we just had where you explained your whole system for free, like the hour free consultation, that was more FaceTime than I got working with Modern Life Dating for two months, right? He's like, that says it all. I'm like, how much strategy did you learn there? None, right? It's just, their webinar, like, you know, not to go off on a tangent, but the fucking Modern Life Dating webinar and all this shit is just meant to upsell more stuff. All these guys are just in it for money grabs, okay? And that's why some, you know, coaches are, are trying to steer clear now of getting involved in the drama and they're starting to wake up and see it's a fucking money grab for most of these motherfuckers, okay? And they're just pushing all these stupid things. And then you have this cult following that runs around. Here's like all the most important principles to be alpha. I don't fuck girls. I don't get hot girls. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing with dating. I, could, I couldn't fucking, you know, land a hot full package girl to save my life. But I'm going to go up to the guys that are doing that stuff. I'm going to say, hey, bro, you're beta because of this and this and this. You're a simp because of this and this and this, right? And they think that, that like, they've won. Like to them, that's winning like being being the pseudo alpha okay but when you put a hot chick you know to assess them or you, or you put them in any kind of real social situation they're you know it's very obvious they're a huge fucking loser they're pathetic they're very low value okay they're they're only like this this massive alpha player in their mind so for any of you like watching this that, that maintains any things how you should never take a girl to dinner never buy a girl a drink um, you know, you shouldn't count lays. You shouldn't care about results. That's, that's one of my favorites. All the people pushing, you shouldn't care about results, right? When I ask even other coaches, hey, what? so how many girls have you been with? Oh, ha, ha, ha. I knew that you were going to ask that. Like, oh, that, I saw that one coming. Ha, ha, ha. Like, you know, and, but most people are like, let's not think about that. Let's not worry about that. Let's not take any of that into account. Who cares about that? Right or, or attacking other coaches, right for very good reason, for extremely good reason, right that you shouldn't do that, and, and you should just take any kind of confrontation lying down. Okay, you shouldn't stand up for yourself. You shouldn't fucking fight back. Okay, and, and you put a guy like that, a guy like that can't win a fight. A guy like that, that's just you know, 
being the unreactive cool guy, he's only going to be a hero in the forums in his own mind, okay, or to other brainwashed people that think, oh, look, it's an, it's an alpha guy standing up for himself. No, that's a fucking total loser repeating incorrect dogmatic principles. So that's pretty much all there is to be said there. Just be, be careful uh, who you're following as, as role models, someone like RSC Tyler or a bunch of these other fucking idiots that, that spewed poison and dog shit into the community that you guys latched onto and ran around being like, I'm not going to be a provider. I'm not going to be a simp. I'm not going to be a reactive beta male, right? I'm going to do all these things to not be beta. Look in the mirror, okay? Has that made you alpha? 99 times out of 100, no. Okay, maybe there was a, a, a luck case where, where one squeaked by, but that was not from any of those principles. Okay, and then look at the guys that are alpha, that are actually crushing the game, and look at what they have to say about these things. Okay, So that's it. If you want to get extremely good at this, jump on a free 30-minute call with me. Link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day, all through 2021. Press the notification bell for those new video alerts every single day. I'm John Anthony. Oh, and everyone's saying my fucking hair's gray. Okay, it's, it's graying slightly. It's not graying that much. People, just because there was like a lighting above me in the in the gym picture. Everyone's saying, oh, his his picture's photoshopped. Where I'm, show, I'm basically just showing like a good, strong physique because everyone's like, there's zero muscle mass. There, what, what's he doing? Okay, more, more of the same fucking point. Okay, it's, uh, I'm clearly in great shape. <laughs> Oh, look at him defending himself. He's having a midlife crisis. His hair's all gray. All the guys spewing all this nonsense are not fucking getting laid. They're not good at the game. They're only good at fucking being trolls and, and retards in the forums. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.